20 years ago in Dadaab, I think there was no refugees, but particularly when the refugees come, I think there's a lot of changes. Mm, like agencies, these big agencies, they were not here. Mm, and the youth in Dadaab, they were jobless that time, but currently they all got some jobs. I think there's big changes. Gargar program has changed a lot from my life because in the dub, I think there was no reporter. Or let me say there was no lady who is a reporter or a journalist. So I'm happy because I've been successfully selected by Internews to be a journalist from host community. And they have trained me a lot. And now I'm happy because everyone hear my voice from the radio. My family, my friends, all, all, all the people, they are happy to hear my voice from the radio. The best story I did was my first story, and the idea was good. I did a story about a primary school which was built. It was important because it was talking about education, and everyone should be, all the children should be in school studying. So most of the people, they got information that there's no child who will be stayed at home. They must go to school and study. I interviewed a teacher and the agency which built and some people in that school. So that was the first time people hear my voice from the radio. So that's why I like that story. Now that I got some training from Internews and I'm experienced, I like to continue my career to be a journalist and I like to be an investigative journalist, inshallah. <laughs>